Hi guys, I have something really exciting for you today. I recently was lucky enough to sit down and chat with Rodney L. Jones III, who is in Candyman. This kid is a braver soul than I. There's no way I could have been on that set. And the stories he tells about the set, I would have been terrified. I can't wait for you guys to hear this interview with him. You might also know him from Fargo, the show where he played Chris Rock's son. This kid is extremely talented. Seriously, watch where he's going. I can't wait to see what he does in the future. I absolutely love chatting with him. So I really hope that you enjoy this interview as well. Now, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one, trailer reactions, movie reviews, and celebrity interviews. Okay guys, let's talk to Rodney. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Well, hey, Rodney, thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Hello, yeah, yes, of course. Oh my gosh, so Candyman is like, it creeps me out just watching it. So how did you like, it's, it's gotta be a little bit scary on set, right? At least. Um. Yeah, it, it was. I remember this one time I was on set and it, it was uh, when I was filming, like when we were right at the row houses and i actually um i saw like a chopped off hand just like sitting on some cart and i was i looked over and i was like <laughs> I, I realized what it was and i realized I, that it that it wasn't real but <laughs> definitely when it caught my eye i got a little like uh tense inside yeah, yeah. i can't i can't imagine because like the original creeped me out this one creeps me out so like how did you even get involved in, in this and what made you want to do it? Um, how did I get involved in it? Well, you know, it was, I just start, I just got an audition from the, from a, a casting office that was, you know, in the area that I auditioned with um, multiple times before. So yeah, I, yeah, I just got it. And I knew that it was Jordan Peele and I knew that it was a horror film and that it was, um, and uh, an adaptation of an old film that people love and this uh, urban legend that has affected people in many ways throughout the years. So I was, I just thought I had to do it, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't, I ugh, just thinking about like being on set would creep me out so bad. I don't think I could handle it. So props to you for being able to handle that. Now, have you seen it? The new, this one that you're in? Uh, yes, I have. I seen it about like two times already. Yeah. So it creeped you out? Yeah. So the first time I saw it, it was, um, it was, it, it, it was, I remember, um, seeing, seeing like, well, after, after it was over, I, um, I stayed around and I talked to a few people and then just before I was about to leave, I went into the bathroom to, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I was done and I went to wash my hands and I thought I heard something. I thought I heard like a, I don't know, like a tapping noise or a creaking noise. And I, I looked over to the stalls multiple times and it was super creepy. And I just, I, I had to get out of there. Once I was finished washing my hands, I like opened the door and ran out the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah that would creep me out I was like I mean I can't look in a mirror for like a week at least I even though I'm not gonna say the words there's no way I'm even looking in a mirror there's yeah. no way I can do it um wow so did you see the original then have you seen the original yet uh I yeah I saw the original once I got the audition um my mom was super excited to uh, introduced this movie to me because she had watched it when she was a kid and it creeped her and her brother out so you know it was I, I had to watch it definitely yeah I, I I like the original I really like this one as well I think they're both really good and I like that it's like different but sort of the same but like different yeah, totally. um, so I want to know would you ever you know I can't even say it out loud say those say it five times would you do that ever so I I did. Yeah. Oh, you did it. <laughs> yeah, but it took some major courage to be built up, you know. I I like I I had many attempts before I could actually say it cuz I I wasn't I wasn't sure what was going to happen, you know. <laughs> and even just like I told you how I went into the bathroom after the movie, I was definitely I was 
I was just so like, <laughs> like I've always been kind of like a little like uh reluctant to do those the the summoning stuff like yeah I don't know, to, like when I was little I would uh I was watching Goosebumps with some people and you know we were doing the slappy thing but I, I was scared to say it so <laughs> I it definitely took some courage to be built up for me to say his name five times but I eventually got to it. I can't believe you did that. You, you've you got, you know, you're braver than I am. I'll say that because there's no way I will ever do that in my life. Never, never, never. I never was able to do those things. I know my sister used to always do all that stuff. And I was like, what are you doing? We're all going to get killed. <laughs> so um, I want to ask you, what's it like working with like Jordan, Jordan Peele and Naya DaCosta? I mean, they're both like brilliant minds. So what are they like? Um, yeah, so I didn't get to meet Jordan Peele, sadly. Oh, no. But, um, you know, it was it was funny. I did this uh, after I had wrapped. I, um, uh, I, I got I, um, Nia and Ian pulled me aside and um, and I did this. I did this video for Jordan Peele because so, you know, during the uh, during the whole process. Right. We we started back in. 2019 I think it was yeah back in the summer of 2019 and so I I actually I grew a lot then and even on Fargo I grew a lot and I had to I went through like multiple fittings and <laughs> my voice had changed you know so um, it was funny because I, I did the video for Jordan Peele and I was like I, I did it my my deep voice because my, my voice had changed so I was like thank you so much for this opportunity <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah uh and I had I watched some of um Jordan Peele's work like Us and Get Out mm -hmm. and even some of his Key and Peele skits which are super hilarious you know so it was it was amazing working on this project and Nia da Co Nia da Costa it was she's she's a great director her uh directions were easily digestible um and you know she was chill she didn't like get like frustrated on set and then make me frustrated too mm -hmm. and you know it was it was a cool experience because you know it was my first time ever working with a black female director I had never worked with it so I, you know I, I thought about that after I watched the movie I was like whoa I never did this before so I was like, it was cool to have that experience. You know, I'd never, I didn't, I hadn't known, I didn't know what it was like, you know, but she, she was a great director. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I'm so excited for the Marvels, which she's directing. So, you know, so keep tight with her. Maybe you'll get into the MCU. You never know. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> great. <laughs> You're like, yes, please. I would love to do that. Uh, <laughs> who wouldn't want to be in the MCU? Yeah. Uh, no, she's amazingly talented. And I thought just watching this, I was like, wow, the direction and just so much about this movie. It's just, it's a really great film and it's a lot of fun. And, and, um, it's spooky too, obviously super scary, but you mentioned Fargo real quick. I got to ask you what's Chris Rock like in real life. Cause he's got to be amazing. He is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, sometimes he's a little quiet, but then, uh, most of the time, you know, he's, he, and when he's like around a lot of the other adults, he's, he's, he'll be very talkative and, you know, he's cracking jokes, some inappropriate. <laughs> That feels, feels on brand for him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, definitely it was it was great working with him and just seeing how well he can embody a character and how uh, how good he can play a dad and how good he can play a dad who's a little flawed. But um, working with Chris Rock, working with Chris Rock, I definitely liked working with him because it, he was another. Um, black male that I got to work with because uh, I don't often get to work with other black males so it's you know it's easier to, for me to like um to like see that I can that this is actually something that I can be good at because I can use another experienced black male actor mm -hmm. as someone to like draw on inspiration you know, so it was, it was definitely great that he was on this show working with me. Yeah. I'll tell you, I loved you in Fargo. I love this. I think that was probably my favorite season, to be honest, of all the Fargos. I really, really liked it. Wow. Uh, 
And, and I love you and Candyman. The perfect. Uh, you're so good. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. I'm going to be following your career because I'm sure you're going to be everywhere. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, seriously, for taking the time. Um, I super appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you liked that interview with Rodney. You tell me your favorite part down below in the comments. Would you be brave enough to say that name five times into the mirror? I will never in a million years do it. No way. I can't believe he was brave enough to do it, especially after filming on that set. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to do it. That kid's so brave. Like I said, he's definitely braver than I am. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. You can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face-to-face. -face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.